So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today, more Master League action. Uh, you guys seem to be enjoying this series, I'm definitely enjoying playing it. Um, today, let's have a look at what we have got coming up. We'll probably do Bournemouth uh, and then Crystal Palace. And then we're going to be heading into uh, the end of December. We've got Leicester coming up, we've got Man City, then the opening day of the transfer window, then West Ham... Uh, and lots of other stuff to come. Now, I did put a poll up the other day about Rooney. And uh, a majority of you guys still said to sort of sell him. So we'll see. We'll see if any offers come in. And if they do, then, of course, we'll adjust accordingly. So we have got offers here from Liverpool, Arsenal, Roma. We're not going to move. We're not going to leave United because, you know, we're playing well. Things are going good. I always play with level support off, guys. Just so you know, every match I play in Master League, level support is off. It doesn't matter what game it is against good or bad opponents. That is how I play. Anyway, for today, coming up against Bournemouth, a match that you would fancy us to win, of course. And we're going to adjust the team. So I think that's the team we are going to go for. Apart from, of course, putting David De Gea back in goal. I'm going to give Varela a bash as right back. Someone said, why not give him a go? I'm going to play Goss again. I'm going to play him again. I think he played well in the last game or whenever I played him last. Um, and he's up for this match, so why not? Him, Schneidlin, Herrera in midfield. Griezmann, Rooney and Depay um, up top. So we'll see how we do there. So yeah, that's the team we're going for up against Bournemouth. Let's dive into the match. So here we are, Bournemouth taking on Manchester United. Man United definitely playing well at the moment. Confidence is high among the players, amongst the fans. Godin, what a signing he has been, really showing that he is the player that could change this Man United side. But it's uh, wet and rainy conditions today. Which could make it quite interesting. As uh, Bournemouth come uh, through early here, Herrera's been caught. Luke Shaw says, you know what, let's just get this away. Rudy can't quite win the header. And Herrera with a long searching pass to find Griezmann. He nearly did as well. Bournemouth win it back. Challenged by Luke Shaw, but he ran into his player. That's a nice pass to find Francis. A lot of space and time here. Past one, laid inside. Dangerous ball. Rolls past everyone. Here's Herrera, another player that has been playing well. Goss, Rooney, Griezmann, tried to play it back towards Rooney, back towards the Frenchman, couldn't get it under control. Here's Gridel, it's a good challenge by Ander Herrera, Memphis Depay, Goss, good ball to find Varela. Let's have a look at the delivery, oh it's a lovely ball in, Griezmann couldn't quite win the header. But Luke Shaw does win the challenge and it's a good save by Burdick and Bournemouth survive. Goss, Herrera, Had to find Luke Shaw, now he's uh, often favours his left foot, Goss once again, it's a dangerous game Bournemouth are playing here, sitting back, Depay, Varela, beautifully worked, how's the delivery, it's brilliant once again, Bournemouth's defending is uh, pretty immaculate at the moment, Luke Shaw, what a ball, Rooney, and once again the keeper, Positioning was spot on. And Wayne Rooney just tried to find the far corner, but it didn't happen for him. Oh, Rooney has stolen it. It's a dangerous place to lose possession. Another great save. Griezmann couldn't get the follow-up. Manchester United are all over them at the moment. Well, Bournemouth have just got to start hitting some long balls. Otherwise, there will be a goal down. More play Jones. Tidying up nicely. 34 minutes on the clock here. Still goalless. The pipe finds Varela. Side to find Goss. How's the ball? What a pass! Nearly found Herrera. Luke Shaw has a go from a long, long way out. And the second half gets underway. Manchester United complete dominance in that first 45 minutes, but they still have yet to put one past Burdick at the moment here comes Memphis Depay 
Varela. How's the delivery? It's not bad at all, Rooney. He's won a few headers today. Hasn't quite found a corner. Here's Goss. That's a great run by him. It's a good pass to find Daniels. Varela's been caught out of position here. Now the fullback's done well. Looking for that long ball to find Rooney. Flicks it on to find it by. Rooney continues the run forward. He has found him. It's Rooney! It's another great save. United are getting closer. But still can't break that deadlock. Goss. Herrera. Rooney. Oh, it's brilliant. It's unbelievable. It's come off the post. And Goss cannot believe that he hasn't scored his first Manchester United goal. What a move it was. It really did credit a goal. And now, I tell you what, Bournemouth are through on goal here. Godin's going to have to come across. De Gea's read it perfectly well in the end. United could have been caught there in the blink of an eye. Now they start to press forward once again. Luke Shaw. Composure by him. Herrera towards Goss, who's had a fantastic game. Depay. He turns his man inside out. Plays a 1-2. Brilliantly worked. How's the delivery? Not bad at all. Griezmann has missed the target. How many chances do you need? So one-sided and Griezmann just completely fluffed it. Now Griezmann making way, Anthony Martial coming on. For the last throw of the dice here, we've got four minutes to play. Manchester United had so many chances. I still don't think Bournemouth have had a chance on goal, apart from maybe one. And here is Rooney. It's not a bad ball to find Martial, but he just couldn't read the bounce. The rain playing an important part there. United have got to start pressing. Oh, they've lost possession. It's going to be Rooney. It's another great challenge. A place where it could have possibly gave United the lead. There's only going to be two minutes of stoppage time here. Bournemouth holding on for a fantastic point. And they've won themselves a foul. Well, the referee will have a look at his watch here for the final time. There's the full-time whistle. Oh, what a result for Bournemouth because Manchester United today... I don't know how many chances they had. Do not know how many chances they had to win this match. Goss hit the post. Griezmann had a chance. Rooney had a chance. They're nine shots to one. And they just couldn't get the job done. But look, no surprise, your man of the match. So elsewhere, Arsenal, they did lose their match. Everton won as well. So what does that mean? Well, United remain third. They had a chance to go only four points behind the leaders. Now Man City are top. Arsenal second. Chelsea up to third. I mean, Bournemouth there down in 18th place. I just couldn't score. Could not score to save my life. Phil Jones has increased. We played well. It was some good football. The finishing was lacking so much. Next up. Another game that we have to win there. Crystal Palace away from home. So scouting report has been updated. Markovic has returned from injury. Actually forgot about Markovic completely. And we have to remember now that we're playing Crystal Palace, then Leicester, and then we have City coming up as well. And as you can see there, De Gea to be transferred. David De Gea made the following comments. In response to his rumour transfer to Malaga, I've heard the rumours that there's been an offer for me. It's all very flattering if it's true. Well, you are not going anywhere, David De Gea. You must be having a laugh. Let's have a look at the scouting report. So, Cavajal. I mean, he's a decent right back. I don't think we need one right now. Uh, James Rodriguez. I don't think uh, that would be realistic if we did pick him up. I don't think we will. Jesse Rodriguez, decent player. And Mateo is uh, it's a pretty good centre-back. I don't think we need one at the moment. Okay, so uh, I think this is the side that we're going to go for today up against Crystal Palace. Uh, you can see De Gea in goal, Godin Rojo at the back with Shaw and Varela. We'll start Varela again, see how he does. Better drop Rooney back a little bit with uh, Fellaini and Schweinsteiger. 
And then Martial Depay, and I think I'll give Mata a bash today. Probably might put on Markovic later. We'll see how he does, uh, you know, see how Depay and Mata do up there. Uh, Herrera on the bench. Tempted to play him, but you know, let's see what Rooney can do. What with uh, him on the transfer list, got to see what he can do. Anyway, that's the team we're going for. Let's dive into the match against Crystal Palace. So another gloomy day here in England. It's Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace taking on Manchester United are coming off the back of that disappointing point against Bournemouth because they should have won comfortably. And today they're going to have to make sure they do take their chances. So Crystal Palace get us underway. 90 minutes of football of course to be played. And United are trying to keep up with the league leaders of Manchester City and Arsenal at the moment. They can't afford to drop more points because they are playing City very shortly in just two games time. The big rivalry match will be upon us. A game where hopefully there will be a lot of goals and chances as United try and work this through early. It's not a bad idea but McCarthy was out like a flash. Well, Mata has stolen it. It wasn't a bad effort. McCarthy looking for Balassi but Varela said I'm not going to wait for it offside flag could have been raised there it wasn't Einsteiger pressing still Palace playing most of the game in their own half at the moment it's risky by Crystal Palace yet again this time they decide to switch it it's a loose ball Luke Shaw wins the challenge Memphis Depay tries to play it over the top Ward Back toward McCarthy. This time it's a long clearance. That's better. That's what they need to do every now and then. Just get the ball out. And here comes Godin. Schweinsteiger. Rooney. And he's walked straight into uh, the Crystal Palace shirt there. And he's lost possession. Here comes Imana. Varela's trying to come across. But David Ayer did well. Inside to find Rooney. Depay. Martial, oh it nearly worked for United that quick interplay sometimes is so beautiful to watch Rooney has stolen it back, it's Rooney straight down the keeper's throat just needed a little bit more direction on it Godin gets there, Matter towards Martial he's turned his man well Depay that's brilliant play by Depay United lead sensational skill by the number seven and that's exactly what they needed well Martial picks it up he just touches it off to Depay have a look at the feet so so quick skips past two defenders gets half a yard and curls it in the far corner so Markovic is back for Manchester United about three or four weeks off with an injury does replace Mata who was really non-existent in the first half they weren't really using him a whole lot so a chance now for Markovic to get back in this side definitely a player that Crystal Palace are going to have to watch just like this man Fellaini speeding it out to find Varela here is Markovic Fellaini Good play by United, biding their time. Rooney. Varela. Loves to come down this flank. It's a good run. It's a lovely pass. And Depay's there for the second. And that is how you do it. Memphis Depay 2, Crystal Palace 0. Well, what a delivery by Varela. Oh, you see the right fullback just bringing it down the line. Has all the time in the world to pick out the pie who just peels away at the back post and heads it into the near post. Varela, Fellaini, United dictating this second half now. Rooney, it's another brilliant play by him. He's playing well today, certainly proving his worth. One thing Luigi does know, if he does sell Rooney, he's going to get a substantial amount for him. That could be the money that he needs for the future growth of United. Snapper De Gea, an early pass. Godin. 
Morella that wasn't quite what he had in mind he's lost possession it could cost them a goal here here's Balassi challenged by Godin Lee picks it up it's a great turn by him and it has cost them a goal and it was sloppy to say the least and Wickham gets on the score sheet I won't worry too much about going over to the cameraman I get the ball out and start rolling so Fellaini and Varela being replaced by Ad Herrera and Antonio Valencia. Varela's actually had a pretty decent game up until that mishap where he gave it away. And United have uh, got to be careful. Valencia back towards Herrera who has just come on and nearly made a name for himself. Not once but twice goes down the referee doesn't want to know. Godin brings it away, ball over the top, it's not a bad idea, if Marcio had got there he would have been through on goal. Now the game has really opened up, and Crystal Palace can feel it, great play at the moment, brilliant football, can he keep it on? Not quite. Well I'm not sure if this went off before he touched it, or he's won himself a corner. Let's have another look here, he went flying in, tried to keep it on, did he? I think he just did. Five minutes to play, it is a corner. The ball is swung in towards that near post. Cleared away by Markovic. It's an important header. The Crystal Palace keep it alive, and the strike is just wide by Lee. Oh, we are going to have three minutes of stoppage time. Good play by Murch. In fact, it's brilliant play, and he's fed it through the middle. Schweinsteiger is trying to get there. Good play by the German. David De Gea smashing it away. Anywhere will do for him. Here is Ward, Lee, Much. Ball over the top. Rooney putting a shift in. And David De Gea takes claim. And surely now the final kick of the game. And there it is, the full time whistle. A massive three points for United here. Memphis Depay scoring both of them. Crystal Palace won. Manchester United two. Well, it was an entertaining game, especially the second half. Five shots to seven. Crystal Palace having more possession. And Depay was your man of the match. So, Arsenal winning their game by one goal to nil. Chelsea winning 3-1. Man City 3-0 winners against Everton. They continue to win games. Liverpool winning as well, which means unchanged in the top four. You can see goal difference so far is superior for Man City and Arsenal. Liverpool up to fifth. Bottom of the table, Bournemouth now lying in 20th. So, Valdez has decreased. We're not going to worry too much about that. Probably put Valdez on the transfer list, to be honest. If he's uh, never really does it for me. But next up, anyway, the next episode, we will continue with our Master League coverage, taking on Leicester City. They're actually lying down there in 19th, to the complete opposite of how they're doing in the real world, where they are relentless. And there is Martial. We want to win this match to build momentum ahead of the Derby game against City. We really can't afford to lose this one, so we need to be in good shape. Absolutely. We are full of confidence. Anyway, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with the next one shortly. But until next time. Take care.